Millions of people suffer from back pain that is so debilitating it impinges upon every aspect of their lives. There are many people who are unable to work, who are unable indeed to lead a normal life, who struggle to get out of bed in the mornings, who struggle to move and who are in constant pain. There is a huge amount of surgery uh, conducted on backs that is frankly not only needless but often detrimental. And during the last 35 years, one of the things that I've specialised in is working with people who have bad backs. I have devised a programme that is different from anything else I've seen, but it is almost 100% successful. I have restored sportsmen back to the sporting arena who have had stress fractures of the spine. I have helped people who have been scheduled for surgery escape that surgery and live normal, productive, constructive lives. And I've put together a programme that is, as I say, um, while it's unique, but it is highly effective and it is available. So, just going to touch on that today and give you an example of how I work the erector muscles which run up each side of the spine. These are part of the intrinsic support structure for the spine. Without strengthening those erector muscles, you've had it. You're nowhere. 35 years or so ago, I devised this machine. I call it my back extension machine. And it enables us to strengthen those particular muscles without putting any compressive loading on the vertebrae or the intervertebral discs. That is key to this procedure. Okay. We would start off, obviously, by performing this movement and it may be a very restricted movement for people that have severe back problems. But we would start off by performing this movement in a small range, clearly with no added resistance. So settling on here, and one would just reach down and let the spine stretch out and elongate. One can enhance the stretching movement by reaching through and actually drawing there. But from there, we would go to a movement where one was just coming up like that. We would move to a horizontal position and not above that. We particularly don't want to hyperextend the spine and cause that compressive loading that I was talking about. As the individual gets stronger during the rehabilitation process, we would move to small weights held at or in front of the chest and clearly we then would expect to progress fairly rapidly. This is 50 pounds. This is 75. This is 100 pounds. This is 125. and I do have a series of pins that would go in to secure the weight stack in situ. 175 pounds, lifted there, and 200 pounds on the stack. Two hundred pounds weighs considerably more than I do, but it is the sort of thing that we can build up to given time, given persistence and given determination. And I've been there. I've had back problems so severe particularly after a surfing accident where I had three ribs broken and a lung punctured, that it took me 40 minutes to get out of bed one morning. And I rehabilitated myself using my system, using this method, and this is part of the programme. 
If you'd like to know more, you can go to http colon forward slash forward slash www.getintothehealthhabit.com and check out my website which is coming on stream fairly soon and there will be a large amount and an increasing amount of information on health, on fitness and on rehabilitation and this back program of mine will be available before very long. Thanks very much and contact me if you've got back problems and I'm sure that I can help.